U.S. you know public school, which is just a euphemism for a mandatory youth propaganda camp. Don't think those people are your friends. Don't think they care about you. Don't think they're here to make the world a better place anyway whatsoever. They don't care about you one darn bit. They're just out for themselves. And they'll- well, it means crypto is finding real utility. We're seeing folks use it to store value, most notably when their domestic currency crashes. You know, you don't see this in the U.S. It's a very good currency here, but that's not the case everywhere. Look, at- looks like the extended used was. 0.0009 Hey Eagles, just got a transfer. It's 400 Singaporean dollars. So if you want to issue, you know, a hundred trillion dollars worth of uh, equity, cool. That's a lot of money on the network. We have to want to issue another 500 million dollars worth of debt that also adds value to the network. So there really is a mind blowing amount of wealth essentially that can basically be flowing through these networks that we can't even comprehend. First time this has happened in six years. It's about to go down, baby. Know what you hold? Enjoy the ride, pal. It's the XME Army. If you got some baggies, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news. No breakfast, no coffee. Just Dre extra. Extra. Bullishness. Shout out to Let Us. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing them likeies, stuffing some baggies. Go ahead. Throw on those moon suits. Throw on those pilot shades. Buckle up. Because of futures. Extra. Extra. Bullish. Let's go full speed. Full throttle. Into the crypto verse. We have the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 2.33 trillion. Up about 3.3% in the past 24. We got XRP currently in the number seven spot, right around 52 cents. Stellar XLM in the number 34 spot, right around 10, 11 cents. We got BTC right around 59K. We got ETH right around 3K. Flare Networks right around 3 cents. Axelar, $1.26. XDC right around 3.5 cents. We got Songbird at 009. Stronghold, 006. We got Zahal right around 14 cents. Evernode. 27 cents Let's to the moon party third edition also xrp las vegas in town get your tickets now we'll see you in las vegas moonparty.twoticks.com we got one from xrp drops to pop things off just in even forbes admits that bitcoin and xrp are the only digital assets that have achieved any regulatory clarity we got applications where middlemen or intermediate process create inefficiencies in the meantime bitcoin and xrp the only digital assets that have achieved any regulatory clarity gary you still there we got steven there off just last week i was at dinner with roger ver and the recent news of his arrest has let me in utter shock i've known roger since the earliest days of crypto we were discussing the future of the industry and all the positive possibilities the lay ahead the best is still yet to come 707 crypto the evil u.s empire set out to demonize crypto heroes Jail. Uh, and I guess we should mention that the, yesterday was Ross Holbrook's uh, 40th birthday. He's been in jail more than a decade. Literally, all of us are here talking about cryptocurrencies today because of that website that he figured out how to build called the Silk Road that allowed people to buy and sell, you know, bit, uh, I'm sorry, buy and sell anything they wanted that was peaceful uh, without any government permission. And so he's in jail until he dies. They're never planning to never let him out. And then I heard about Bitcoin thanks to Ian Freeman, who heard about Bitcoin because of Ross Holbrook and the Silk Road. Ian Freeman is now in federal prison as well for running a wow, Bitcoin ATM. Well, yeah, so like both those guys are absolute heroes and both those guys are in federal prison, which I think just shows like what an evil empire the U.S. Uh, federal government is. It's one of the most evil entities ever in the history of humankind. It's right up there, uh, you know, murdering people by the millions and incarcerating people by the millions that uh, that don't deserve it. And so like uh, just want to point that out to like people like just because you went to, you know, the U.S. you know public school, which is just a euphemism for a mandatory youth propaganda camp. Don't think those people are your friends. Don't think they care about you. Don't think they're here to make the world a better place anyway whatsoever. They don't care about you one darn bit. They're just out for themselves and they'll you know, literally murder people to get their way. So uh, that's why crypto is so important because it empowers individuals have to control their own lives and basically bypass and replace that sort of existing system where with a system where people are controlled their own lives. Drain the swamp. Free the standard. Roger Ver, crypto investor dubbed Bitcoin Jesus cheated out of 48 million in taxes. We got one from the BIS, Bank for International Settlements. Could a multi-central bank digital currency common platform be the solution to cross-border payment inefficiencies? At the BIS summit, know what you hold? 
We got one from Subject Views. Ripple Partner Accenture has partnered with the Central Bank of UAE to leverage their digital expertise to enhance their financial infrastructure. Interestingly, Accenture CEO Julia Sweet named Times 100 Most Influential People of 2024. And the article was written by Mr. Easy Bugs himself, Mr. Schwab. We got Mr. Man XRP. Here is the setup of Ripple's escrow. It could mean that a portion of Ripple's escrowed XRP may be utilized as a value add to its USD stablecoin, according to the IMF. Ripple's USD backed stablecoin will be the factor that provides value behind Palau stablecoin. When Palau has successfully exited the regulated sandbox and executed on their exit strategy, Ripple's USD stablecoin will have its first use case we got one from cypress x we will see an era of utility driven by crypto and digital assets that have and provide real world value listen to the end next up we are going to talk about crypto now if you're a nightclub owner in miami uh you might have noticed that business has been a bit slower than usual it's been a rough few years in the crypto market and your know, crypto is the only part of the financial world where you can get 12 year olds uh, making themselves millions by drawing a whale wearing a top hat and you know people making losing billions on dog coins if you're just skimming the funny headlines and you know, chuckling and moving on, you're missing out on all the genuinely exciting progress that's been happening in crypto. And you owe it to yourself to dig in properly. Our history with crypto goes back a long time. You know, 10 years ago, we became the first major, the genuinely exciting progress that's been happening in crypto. And you owe it to yourself to dig in properly. Our history with crypto goes back a long time. You know, 10 years ago, we became the first major payments company to support Bitcoin as a payment method. At the time, Bitcoin was a pretty terrible payment method. Uh, transactions took ages, they're very expensive. So in 2018, we actually turned it off. But amidst all the trials and tribulations and Shiba Inus and crypto kitties, there's been a lot of technical improvements happening in crypto. I'm talking about three things specifically. Firstly, transaction settlement times are no longer comparable to Christopher Nolan films for length. Uh, many blockchains are now measuring transaction times in the milliseconds. Secondly, transaction settlement costs are no longer comparable to Christopher Nolan films for budget. Uh, it's now perfectly affordable to transact on chain. And finally, and this is a big one, stable coins are becoming, well, stable. They're regulated, they're backed by real assets, they're being used a lot. Look at this chart of the total value being transacted by stable coins. If we were in a crypto winter post-2021, nobody told the stable coins. So what does this all mean? Well, it means crypto is finding real utility. We're seeing folks use it to store value, most notably when their domestic currency crashes. You, know, you don't see this in the US, it's a very good currency here, but that's not the case everywhere. Look at Turkey. You can see that if the price of the Turkish lira has fallen over the crashes. You, know, you don't see this in the US coins. So, what does this all mean? Well, it means crypto is finding real utility. We're seeing folks use it to store value, most notably when their domestic currency crashes. You, know, you don't see this in the US. It's a very good currency here, but that's not the case everywhere. Look at Turkey. You can see that in real utility. We're seeing folks use it to store value, most notably when their domestic currency crashes. You, know, you don't see this in the US. It's a very good currency here, but that's not the case everywhere. Look at Turkey. You can see that as the price of the Turkish lira has fallen over the past few years, the lira's trading volumes against stable coins have consistently increased. With transaction speeds increasing and costs coming down, we're seeing crypto finally making sense as a means of exchange. And so, I have something for you. We're excited to announce that we're bringing back crypto as a way to accept payments, but this time with a much better experience as stable coins. We got Echo the Truth US Debt Clock Alt History 1913. 2024, Alt History bankers arrested on Jekyll Island. Secret Service foils counterfeiting plot. A group of bankers conspiring to defraud the American people were arrested today on a small island off Georgia coast. Federal officers were tipped off to the plot days beforehand and were able to seize crucial documents detailing the complex scheme. Led by Senator Aldridge, the group was planning to replace the U.S. dollar backed by precious metals with what is known as fiat currency. If successful, this new financial system could have led to mass bankruptcies and years of economic misery for the country. And now we have the evolution of money, conquest era, tally era, the banking era. Now welcome to the golden era. Place your bets. The greatest transformation of wealth is upon us. Know what you hold, know what's coming, and welcome to the golden age of wealth. We got one from Papesso. After the halving in 2020, the market saw a meteoric rise. So 516x, FTM 205x, Matic 129, Matic. 192x it'll be the same in 2024 but with new alts like xrp xlm we got the digital asset daily stellar and its ecosystem have led the way for years and have been doing all this including sdr xdr and gold back currency as danielle dixon said a few years ago we want to be the currency and they have including cbdc's this is what stronghold and velo protocol already are banks Velo SHX are the liquidity tools to move all the value. Cross-modern payments. We got one from Smoke. 
CBDC offline transaction via Bluetooth facilitated by Stellar XLM. Straight to here. Enter the amount to be sent over Bluetooth, which is 10,000 IDR in this case. Confirm to proceed. Now it's connected, receiving the amount, and the amount is received by the second card. Offline transfers are programmable to comply with BI policies. Send 25,000 to Alice. And transfer failed. Now August needs to send money to his brother Alex, who lives in Singapore, converting e rupiah into e sing dollar into his brother's digital wallet. Hi Alex. I'm sending 400 Singapore dollars. <laughs> Looks like the extended used was 0 0.0009 million. Hey Eagles, just got a transfer. It's 400 Singaporean dollars. SEA offers the unique benefits of digital bearer instruments, the power of Web3 access and controls, and the superior banking experience to provide strong user-oriented, digitally inclusive products. Welcome to the digital asset age. We got one from the ISO gold. Imagine the tokenization and debt. That would be mind-blowing. Delaware, cryptocurrencies like XRP, utility tokens. Silhouette point of view 2024. All the money, all the value, all the debt. They'll know where the price of XRP will go. I have no idea. Zero, zero, absolutely zero clue. But I'll give you a tiny hint of an idea of what could happen. So, XRP is only, it's a financial instrument of value. And that instrument is basically, the instrument is really liquidity between different other instruments like bonds, stocks, currencies, all the, the everything basically. Yeah. And the XRP is only worth the value of the things that are issued on it because it would cost XRP to buy those things on the network and use that liquidity. Mm -hmm. So what ends up happening here is not only do you have to issue all of the equity, but you've also got to issue all of the debt. So XRP is only bound by the fiscal uh, responsibility of the people that issue assets on it, which is obviously irresponsible. So XRP could be at $100, $100,000, $1 million, depends on how many assets you want to issue onto the network. So if you want to issue, you know, $100 trillion worth of uh, equity, cool, that's a lot of money on the network. What happens if they want to issue another $500 million worth of debt that also adds value to the network? So there really is a mind-blowing amount of wealth, essentially, that can basically be flowing through these networks that we can't even comprehend because of that debt question of being able to issue more and more and more value. Uh, mind-blowing wealth. You can't even comprehend what's to come. The best is yet to come. Crawl walk. Then we rock it. We got one from Tangent. We just dropped a major update. Our dev squad has been grinding hard to add eight new networks to the mix. That's fire. Show some love to let them know how much you appreciate their hard work. Drop a reaction, comment, and share the hype. And also, don't forget to update your app. You know the drill. New networks. New possibilities. Check out Tangent Cards, the most secure way to store your cryptocurrencies. Links down below. Get yourself the Bagman discount. We got one from Mustache. USDT dominance broke through a trend line that has been intact for almost six years. This is just a back test. All season will come. You just need to be patient and continue stacking. We got cryptos. TA, BTC dominance. Top is in. What's next? Weekly close below 54%. All season. Agra crypto DXY moment of truth update. Still keeping an eye on this for potential epic rally. Risk on askets. Batman bag ladies. The block bull. XRP. This hasn't happened in six years. What is going on, guys? This is the XRP Bitcoin chart on the weekly time frame. All the way back here to the double peak 2018, where XRP maxed out against the Bitcoin. Look at this weekly time frame. Let's scroll right in here. Let's see where we're at. XRP has officially broken out of the wedge. The first time this has happened in six years. It's about to go down, baby. The block will right about now. Make sure your bags are packed. It's go time, baby. I hope you've been adding to those generational wealth bags. And meanwhile, while the 99% continue to sleep, the 1% pink dots continue to add to those generational wealth bags. Let our friend know that the greatest opportunity, multiple lifetimes, is still at hand. But the trains left the station. Tick tock. Tick tock. And let her know we'll be down in Vegas partying. 
for the third edition Moon Party. Also, XRP Las Vegas 2024 Cinco de Mile Pool Party. What will those bags be when that regulation jar of molasses finally breaks open? And XRP's true price is finally revealed. Bags. Later, In the heartbeat of Las Vegas, where the neon lights meet the starry skies, a new rhythm is pulsing. On the 3rd of May 2024, the city that never sleeps becomes the epicenter of a revolution. The third edition of a hip-hop concert like none other, Moon Party 2024 is preparing to ascend the stage during the same week as the largest XRP conference in the world, XRP Las Vegas, with electrifying performances by XRP Bags. We are not done, just having some fun, just getting started, the flip of the switch, and you thought you could short it, burning the escrow, now there's been a shortage, so many digits, now you can't afford it. We